Hey Libra Collective, welcome to the channel. Welcome back. Thanks so much for joining me. Let's get into your love reading. Check in with the Libra Collective. What's your love messages this week? Let's start with just one card here. The overall, this is a fortune cookie, um, I guess, oracle deck. Let's get a little message, see what might be going on for the Libra Collective. We have love. <laughs> It says love is in the air, a great time for commitment and taking relationships to the next level. So some of you may be feeling in love right now. You could be taking your relationship to the next level or someone is thinking about maybe asking you like, hey, let's settle down. Let's move in together. Let's get married, depending on where you are in your connection. Everybody's on different timelines. So take it how it resonates. Let's get into these messages. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I played mind games because I thought that will keep you interested in me okay well that ain't a good way to have a commitment so this is somebody that played mind games with you at least at some point in the relationship maybe this is the reason why they're thinking about going to the next level they want to grow up they want to man up they want to woman up they want to mature be more present emotionally available to you what's going on here this is hard for both of us i'm just too proud to show it we have aquarius energy here this could be somebody that likes to argue um, maybe you haven't spoken to this person for some of you in five weeks. Some of you, maybe not since the spring, you haven't talked to this person. Hmm. So this is a person, whoever they are, the five of swords showing up here with, I play mind games. This could be a person again, who likes conflict, likes to argue. And, um, we're going to see why we have this beautiful love energy clarifying these cards here. Mm, don't really add up so let's see maybe this person is growing up i don't know i wish i could see you or at least hear your voice one more time yeah so they having to come to jesus moment it happens to the best of us right let's look more into these mind games what did they do here what's the mind games all about they felt like the more they Play like cat and mouse games with you, the more you would be interested and chased behind them. They like to be chased. We have secrets. Hmm. This person could have issues that you don't even know about. Clearly they do, right? It has nothing to do with you. I want one more. What's the secrets? I need some time to myself to heal. So they had some healing to do. And they couldn't just tell you about that in a mature way. <laughs> okay, so let's see. What's this is hard for both of us. I'm just too proud to show it. I'm glad it's over. I'm ready to move on. Eight of Cups. This is uh, Pisces energy. Hmm. So this person is maybe, okay, you know what? I'm hearing ungrateful. I'm hearing ungrateful. I'm hearing like, I didn't miss you until you were gone. You know, they thought they were moving on to something better or that there, that there were other options. I don't know why I can't talk. I don't stutter, y'all. I really don't. But when I do these readings, I get tongue tied. Maybe that's how they feel. This person doesn't know what to say to you. Because they, they took their happy tails out here thinking they were going somewhere doing something. And now they're sitting here like, I'm too proud to apologize. <clears throat> Excuse me. After they turn their back on you. Somebody could be on the Aquarius Pisces cusp. Let's see. I'm completely heartbroken and devastated without you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's see. I wish I could see you or at least hear your voice one more time. Yeah, this this could be a Taurus for some of you. This person could be having money issues right now. It says someone is longing for you at the expense of their own dignity, even if you are unaware. Financial problems may be preventing this person from pursuing you. So they could be having money issues. And that could be why you haven't heard from this person. Let's get one more in this tarot. And that will be it for the day. Just a quick love check in second choice rebound wow some of them there could be somebody else in this person's energy that they rebounded with i just heard they could be financially dependent on someone else with them being down bad i'm hearing they're embarrassed yeah because the five of um sports it's like it can be an embarrassed energy just based on the fact that Something backfired on some someone. Something blew up in their face. You cut off your nose to spite your face. You won the battle, but you lost the war. You know, you sabotaged something that you really wanted. I owe you the world is at the bottom of the deck. Let's get some tarot. Show me more about this person playing mind games and the secrets. What's the mind games and the secrets that they needed to heal or heal from? 
what is it? Eight of Swords. This person does have fears. Or they overthink. It could be a Gemini. What else? The world. Okay. Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus energy. And then the chariot. This person moved too quick. They thought something was over with you. They thought they had it all figured out. They thought it was a go here with the chariot. And they quickly moved away from you. Could have suddenly just kind of cut you off. Yeah, they like ended this cycle with you kind of abruptly. But now they're trapped in their own thoughts. Their negative thoughts about what they have done to you. They feel foolish for what they've done to you. A Gemini, a Cancer, a Leo, Scorpio, or Aquarius for some of you. This person could have mental health issues, y'all. Somebody could be incarcerated. Hmm. Somebody could have done something because of these money issues. Maybe they got themselves caught up in the jam. <laughs> Caught up in some kind of, I don't know, situation. Something about this person. I feel with this chariot, they move too quickly. They do things without thinking. And they do need to heal. Yeah, there's a cycle that they need to close out. But I just kind of feel this person didn't think about things ahead of time. And they kind of jumped out there. I feel like some of you could be dealing with another air sign. Okay, let's move to... This is hard for both of us. I'm glad it's over, ready to move on, but I'm completely heartbroken and devastated. They're too proud, too proud to apologize. Just ridiculous. We got the Knight of Pentacles. Oh, yeah, they're really slow. They're a slow moving person, slow to commit as well. Could be a Virgo. What is this Knight of Pentacles all about? Spirit? The strength in the King of Swords. Yeah, oh, yeah, they acting like they don't care. This person is holding back, y'all. They have a lot, a lot of strong willpower, whoever this person is. A Leo or an Aquarius for some of you. Hmm. They're very prideful is what I'm hearing with the strength card. This is the kind of person they are stubborn. And it's like if you try to like wait this person out, you're going to be waiting forever. Like a who's going to break the ice. This person has a very strong will. And they're serious about it with that King of Swords energy. It's like this is the kind of person you know where you stand with this person. Some of you feel this person still cares about you. But you know they're holding back. And they are. I feel like they're going to slowly come around with the Knight of Pentacles. But you know the Knight. The Pentacles represent years. <laughs> so I mean this could be a relationship that's been going on for years. You've been waiting years for them to kind of like you know. Make something happen, but you look like you might be waiting because this person is proud. And then they're also longing for you. It says at the expense of their own dignity, even if you're unaware. This person, this person is very proud and their pride is in the way. So why do we get love? It's in the air. Great time for commitment and taking relationships to the next level. That's just so interesting. So let's see if they're going to come around in the future energy. Nine of Wands. Okay. <laughs> Very defensive, Sagittarius energy. Could also represent making sacrifices. Let's see what else. Nine of Wands. Okay, wow. So they could they could be getting to their breaking point here. Yeah. The Nine of Wands is, you know, is that energy of being ready to give up. But again, very stubborn, very strong willed. We got strong Sagittarius here uh for you, Libra. Yeah, but it's like this person is now in this Knight of Wands energy in the future. Which could mean that they're ready to take inspired action towards, you know, the Knight of Wands likes the thrill of the chase. You have to, un you have to expect the unexpected with the Knight of Wands. So let's get one more. This may be why they're ready to step up now. They're realizing that you're worth the sacrifices that they need to make, which a big part of it is their ego. Oh, goodness. Just one more card for the Libra Collective Spirit. Okay, you got two. You got the death card and you got the two of pentacles here. Okay, yeah, wow. Okay, so I see what's happening. Some of you are dealing with a Scorpio or a Capricorn. You don't have to be, but it's possible. This is somebody who has been transformed by this ending. And I feel like now they want to balance the connection with you. They want to prioritize you now. They want you to know that the sacrifices that they need to make again here with this nine of wands... And it's king, of, I mean, the um, knight of wands. This is a person thinking, you know what, you're worth the fight. And I'm going to make the sacrifice for you. You've transformed this person. The way this relationship ended has made this person want to come back. Maybe that's why you have this rebound. It's not so much that they're looking to rebound with someone else 
or even with you against someone else. It's more so they want to come back and have this love affair with you. So Libra, those are the messages. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Peace.